Hi, everyone. This is our special edition of Stars in the House. I'm James Wesley. I'm Seth Rudetsky, and we and felt Mandy that like Mandy, Congress is reconvening at 8 o'clock, so we didn't, well, we wanted to change our show tonight anyway, right. but we definitely didn't want to do it while Congress is reconvening, but we felt we need to do something to basically spread some joy hope. and hope. Yeah, and comfort. Because everyone, you know, it's been a really, really hard day. So we thought um, we would do this. Right. So, so thanks for tuning in early. Yes. What I what I thought was going to be Seth basically. By the way, Don and McKechnie and company. It's going to be it's going to be Friday. postponed. It is going to be Friday. Yeah. Okay, great. It's, so it's postponed till Friday. Um, and what I was planning on doing this evening was watching and uh, multitasking, watching the show, and also culling clips for the Waltons. But um, because that is on for tomorrow. So talk about. A, a comforting show from a different era yeah. um, about love. Um, so that's that's coming up tomorrow. So, but we want to. So we wanted. We have. We had a. We have a few clips. Yeah, we we're showing some exclusive, uh, basically songs that we think are going to be inspiring and full of hope. Because we have to. You know, you, you're not going to get anywhere if you just feel despair. So we're trying to fill you with hope. And these are really kind of cool exclusive clips. And we brought on two friends who are going to be with us in this shortened half hour because, like like Seth said, we're going to finish at 8 o'clock. Yeah, because Congress is coming back at 8. Right. Back and better than ever. So Jose Lana and uh, Javier Colon, they're going to come and join us um, in a minute. But in the meantime, Seth, this is still, by the way, for the Actors Fund. Um, and we'll give you some updates tomorrow on them and how much money, the millions and millions and millions of dollars that was distributed in 2020. Um, we have our, our production meeting on, on Wednesdays and Maggie from the Actors Fund told us the incredible amount of donations that have come in and the incredible amount of money that has gone out. Yeah, it's interesting. I just was looking at a tweet from a, a friend of mine who was starring in a Broadway show and I was like, wow, he hasn't worked in nine months and he has a family. It just I don't know, it just only hit me. I was like, he doesn't have any income. And you know what? It's a long time. And and on that point, um, Maggie did say that if you if you are a performer or behind the scenes uh, in the arts and you've already gotten a grant from the actors fund, you can reapply. That's so, amazing yeah, news. That's big news. Yeah. So tell tell really other people that you know. And I think a lot of people don't realize the Actors Fund, as we always say, is not just for actors, it's for anyone in the entertainment industry, no matter what you do. And you go to actorsfund.org if you need help. That's but right. if you can give any help, because we are collecting donations tonight, if you can, we got a half hour. That's what right. is uh, information? Starsinthehouse.com or text fund 2020 to 56512. We probably won't get to the donation reading them aloud today, but we will tomorrow. So yeah, so forward your donations. Them, of course, the donations at Stars in the House. And we'll read them. So uh, we do want uh, to... Uh, we're going to do, we're gonna do quick pictures um, because... You know, like I said, we have so many people who work on our staff that are in Georgia. Yeah, it's amazing. And um, Cicely, who does our web design, these are her friends of 25 years, and they went um, Hi, Cicely. voting. Yes, Queen. Uh, we have a lot of Georgians. Yeah, we have. My God, I have like the highest positions. Of, you know, we have like our other producer, Maura. Yes. It's interesting. It's, it's, yeah, we have a lot. So I wanted to show um, Cicely's picture with her friends there. Um, so, Seth, yeah, set up the, the first song before we bring uh, Jose Lana on. Yes, so this is the perfect song. So we did this thing called, by the way, we're going to do a deconstruction of all of our posters behind us. We got a request from a viewer. We will do that. <laughs> but one of the shows that we do is Concert for America. And we started it on. January 20th, 2017, and we did it for a long time. And this is from one particular concert for America that we did at, um, uh, what the hell is the name of that place? The Cooper Union. At the Cooper Union. And it was specifically for the National Immigration Law Center. Actually, for it five different for, ones. It, it, the next year was for National Immigration Law Center. That was for four immigrant rights services organizations that were along the border. Two from Texas, one from Arizona, one from California. Correct, Amunda. So um, we wanted to, we wanted a song. This is a really cool performance. We wanted a song that would give, you know, basically what we need right now, which I think is perfect, really patience and hope. It's like we can't get everything solved this minute. And um, we need faith that it's going to get solved. So the song is literally called Patience and Faith. And it's a song that you would have seen and heard from this very woman on the big screen this past summer if the pandemic had not hit, the In the Heights movie. Yeah, so she's one of the stars in the In the Heights film, singing her song, Paciencia y Fe. Eh, y fe. It's the original star who played Abuela Olga Meredith, who got to play the role in the movie, which, I mean, I can count what like on happen? my hand the amount of people that have originated a Broadway show and got to do the film. So this is now the microphone is peaking a little bit. So just, you know, it's a little buzzy, but <laughs> she's still have your remote nearby, well, it's but, not it's like only, it's, but it's only a little bit. It's not like it's too hot. It's not like it's too loud, but it just buzzes a little yeah. bit, but that's because she is 
old school. I oh mean, she is like jaw dropped. So good. So powerful. So I'm um, just so you know, if you don't know the story, she, there's there's a big lottery, ninety six thousand, and no one knows who won the lottery. The lottery, and that's why she's talking about a ticket at one point. But here it is. This is what we all need: patience and faith. Here we go. Calor, 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 calor. Ay, mamá, the summer's hottest day. Paciencia y fe. Paciencia y fe. I got a heart, heart, but that's okay. Mama would say, Paciencia y fe. It's hotter at home in La Vibora, the Washington Heights of Havana, a crowded city of faces the same as mine. Back as a child in La Vibora. I chased the birds in the plaza Praying, Mama, you would find work Combing the stars in the sky For some sort of sign Hi, Mama, so many stars in Cuba In Nueva York we can see Beyond our street lights To reach the roof You gotta bribe the super Ain't no Cassiopeia in Washington Heights But ain't no food in La Vibora I remember nights, anger in the streets, hunger at the windows Women folding clothes, playing with my friends in the summer rain Mama needs a job, Mama says we're poor One day you say, vamos a Nueva York And Nueva York was far, but Nueva York had work and so we came And now I'm wide awake A million years too late I talk to you imagining what you do Remembering what we went through In America, in Espanol, I remember dancing with Mayor La Guardia, all of society welcoming mommy and me. Ha! job working as a maid so we cleaned some homes polishing with pride scrubbing the whole of the upper east side the days into weeks the weeks into years and here i say
paciencia y fe. Yes. Wow. The power, man. <laughs> wow. She said she would sometimes almost basically pass out at the end because of the how much air she had to have for that. You could tell Jose is in a state of Jose. shock. <laughs> I see, see Jose. I'm bringing up Jose. Yeah. Yeah. He can't. I mean, the breath control, right? I'm trying not to cry already from the day. And yeah, and that song and that show and that care and Olga, she's so amazing. And I think of my grandmother and my it's mm. it's it's I can't. I'm trying not. It's, it's, it's a, I'm having a day here, guys, and I'm trying not to keep it together. And then you ask me to invest in Olga singing that song live, and it's, it's like I can't, I can't. I'm I'm literally crying because I can't. Anyway, hi, hi. Free to be you and me. It's all right to cry. Jose, one of the reasons that we asked you to come on was because what happened today is not unlike yeah. what you grew up with. So I thought maybe you could. If give you us some mind, hope. Talk, yeah, yeah. Give us some hope how you survive, but also maybe talk about it if you don't mind. You know, I've been, I've been, I've been texting my husband all day. He's at work. Uh, he's one of the lucky people who's, who's able to work. But I, I've been watching the news. I'm, I'm trying to like, you know, I was supposed to be putting something on tape for an audition today, and I'm, I'm like trying to like focus and. You know, I, I, my, my family. I was born in martial law in the Philippines in 1976, and, and my parents were. Uh, activists at major anti-Marcos activists. They were they were like the the ripe age. They were in their twenties when all this was going when all of it was going on, and they were in college when when it started. And so we left the Philippines in 1979 when I was three years old because um, my parents and all their friends uh, they were all getting arrested. People were people were just like rights were being were t being taken away and. You know, and, and you know, fast forward years later, that I'm I'm playing this part in Here Lies Love, and I'm finally delving into you know, you know, my whole childhood. My parents taught us, my sister and me, about the Marcuses and and martial law and and what it means when your democracy is taken away from you, and everything that's been happening in the past four years uh, with Trump. I, I see the red flags, you know, you, you, you cast doubt on the media, you, you make the media and journalism, you're the enemy. And it's exactly what Marcos did so that no one believed news when it came out. Um, he, he incited violence. He, he had all these fake coup attempts so that he had to declare martial law for the safety of the country, you know? So, I mean, it's, it's, it's to see it happen in slow motion. I'm pointing to my TV, which you can't see, but, um, <laughs> To, to see it slowly degrade and what what really Sorry. makes me uh, nervous and angry is the complacency of so many people in this country who are just letting it happen because it doesn't directly affect them you know and and the, the this the, this idea of of the middle class and the wealthy who think oh it's it, we're, we're fine as long as it doesn't affect my checkbook and and it, and it drives me crazy and and these Republicans who are sitting in the house who think, Oh, I need to make a show today so that I can run for president in four years, and and it's and it's just feeding the monster. It's feeding this monster. And okay, so I, I promised myself that I was not going to go into this downward spiral, but, <laughs> but I need to say out loud that it can end. Like this kind of behavior, martial law ended in the Philippines because the people mm -hmm. finally took control and said, "We're not going to take this." You know, the Philippines was a young country. We we were colonized by four different mm -hmm. countries for 600 years, like we barely had a government that wasn't controlled by the Spanish or the Americans or the Japanese or the, or the you know, so it's like, we were a young country. We didn't know how to handle our democracy. And now they, we still don't because it's still a mess over there in the Philippines, but like it, de democracy is delicate. It needs to be, it needs to be cherished and it needs to be protected. And I'm hoping that at eight o'clock when Pelosi and 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 hope maybe Mike Pence, he's the president of the Senate, when they reconvene, they they need to say something important. I hope President elect Biden says something again tonight to say, like, this is not okay. This is not okay. It's 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 making me so upset, but I'm 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 I I I haven't I I took a spin. I was just trying to like and when like the news broke that that, that they were going to reconvene, like I, there was a shot of like hope of like okay, 
They're mm-hmm. gonna they're gonna do something. They're gonna say something. They're gonna make it official. They're gonna and hopefully these Republicans who wanted to make some stupid show of of idiocy today, hopefully they will reconsider so that they can just sign, seal it, and deliver it, and then we can move on. And and we can. It's it's. I'm sorry, I'm babbling now. I don't know. No, what Jose. I'm you know what? The, what I one of the things I love that you did that I'm sure your parents uh, would be proud of you of was this past weekend. I'm going to put up the picture. Tell everyone yeah. what you did this weekend. Well, you know, I, I I did a knock for democracy. It's a phone banking. And I and the only reason I did it is because I kept seeing that my dear friends Celia and Rory were doing it and my friend Crystal Joy Brown. Um, they they've been posting about it there the, with their organization, the Stacy's Drama Club, you know, and you know, I, I, here I, I, we sit in utter I, I'm gonna I'm only gonna talk for myself, but we sit I sit in utter privilege that I'm I'm I've got a house over my head, a roof over my head, and I'm I'm not going to a food bank. I'm like, but I wanna help us in some way and I, I want to do something and phone banking was like the least I could do. I could take two mm-hmm. hours of my Tuesday this week and two hours of Saturday, make some phone calls. We and we I've learned through all the phone banking I'm doing is that we actors are specifically um, we have the skills that are d- good at phone banking. Like <laughs> we're outgoing, we we're used to talking to people. Well, uh, it takes a bit of crazy to do it, you know. Like <laughs> that person that calls someone and go, "Hi, I- I'm a volunteer with so and so." Click. Oh, that's okay. It's like every audition, like door closed. <laughs> Next, you know. It's like we're we're specifically fine tuned to be phone mm-hmm. bankers, and um, so we did it, and and it was hosted by Manny Patinkin and his beautiful wife Catherine, and it was it was so much fun, and. Um, and then when we finished the, the two hours of phone banking, they can they put everyone on a Zoom call so everyone sees each other. Um, they announced the totals and, and and Mandy made this incredibly heartwarming speech that was just tear jerking about what it means to be a citizen and how we as performers can can really just tap into our whatever. And then to celebrate uh, the number of calls that were made, they started playing Evita and we're all like dancing around and, and it was it was joyful and I, we felt like we were doing something and. And it looks like a fish. I wish we were celebrating what should be we we should be talking about is that uh, Osaf was officially uh, they they've given they they they've, they've called the race so like both seats were taken so that's what we should be talking about right now and um and uh, it's 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 I, I mean my every, every I just admire the people who drive it and those are people like you guys and Audra and Celia and Rory and and all the people that I that inspire me to try to be a better citizen and not just sit here and twill my thumbs and complain. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> well, yeah. Jose, speaking of Audra, we wanted to, we wanted to show the, the Georgia on my mind video before we bring on uh, Javier Colon. So and um, Jose yeah. is a double solo. He was supposed to be at the end singing Georgia in the last minute. We added him to the beginning. So you are featured twice lady. <laughs> <laughs> pinch hitter, pinch hitter vocal. That's right. Always happy to be. Always happy to be. It was, it was, that was a fun night. That was hilarious. I was like, this, you want this, you want that? I'm like singing into my phone and sending it in. It was, it was perfect. <laughs> All right, Jose, we're going to play it. Thank you so much for hopping on at the last All right, minute. Guys. Appreciate Thanks it. Okay. Bye Jose. Bye. Watch yourself. Here you are. Here we go. Georgia, Georgia, the whole day through, just an old sweet song keeps Georgia on my mind. Georgia on my mind. I said Georgia.
on my mind Other arms reach out to me Other eyes smile tenderly Still in peaceful Just, how can it not put you in the best damn mood? Exactly. Okay, so look, we're here to spread oh, some peace. Yes, and you know what? There was someone who made a comment here um, that was right on. Where was it, Seth? It was a little someone higher up. Is it higher up? Maybe yeah. Higher? Hold on, hold on. It's like right at the beginning. Just because it's sort of like kind of sums it all up. Oh, here Right around there. Because I totally agree. We have learned that citizenship has to be practiced daily and not just exercised every two or four years. I think that's that's kind of the I think that's the lesson of 2020. And I see Javier Colon nodding. So let's bring Javier on. Javier, Hi guys. it's true, right? What's that? It's true. It, you know, yes, yes, it it is so true. I, you know, it, it's funny when I see you guys and and all that you do uh, for the good of our country and and the people uh, within it. You know, you inspire me to do more and to be more and to be more active. So I, I appreciate you guys and all that you do. Um, I really think that you helped, you know, turn Georgia blue. You helped make you know, such a difference in this, uh, in this election over the last four months. So three months. So thank you guys. Those are awesome. Javi always says yes. Whenever we have a social justice project, he always comes through. Even this... when it's like 20 minutes notice like today. <laughs> <My God. laughs> and it's fully warmed up. So look, we want us we want to make sure that we're over by eight o'clock. So we want yeah. you to la launch into your song. We want Javi to sing something that's about peacefulness, hopefulness. And even though by the way, Javi speaks like a baritone, his voice sits 45 octaves up. So I <laughs> I'm up. I literally tried to start singing along with him and I was like, can't even hit the note. Um, so this Javier Colon is sounding gorgeous on um, one of my favorite arrangements that he does. We're going to take ourselves off screen. Thanks, bro. Somewhere over the Way up high There's a land That I heard of once In a lullaby
Somewhere over the rainbow Skies are blue And the dreams that you dare to dream Really do come true Someday I'll wish upon a star and Wake up where the clouds are far behind me Where troubles melt like lemon drops Oh, way above the chimney tops That's where you find me Somewhere over the rainbow Blue birds fly Birds fly over the rainbow Why? Then why can't I? Someday I'll wish upon a star And wake up where the clouds are far behind me Oh, way up on the chimney tops, that's where you find me somewhere oh, over the rainbow. Blue birds fly, birds fly. If happy little louvers fly beyond the rainbow, why, oh, why can't I Beautiful. Wow, so beautiful. Oh, my God. The fluidity and the sunniness of your voice. All right, Javier, we love you. We were both just saying, oh, my God, you got to be on Broadway when Broadway comes back. we got to work on that. Oh, gosh, I was just uh, talking to somebody on, on uh, the socials today about that very thing. I, I would love to. It's it's always been a dream of mine and, and something I'd love to to make happen. And, and uh, you've helped me come you know, you know, closer than I've ever been to, to doing that for helping me get some, some audition sets. So I, I appreciate you very much. You are the best and uh, anything for you, you let me know. You're, you're so special, man. Thank okay, you. this was a beautiful night. Thank you for being here. Thank, Thank you, everyone, you. for watching. And Congress is back in one minute, so let's celebrate, right, man. And, and yes. We'll be back tomorrow at 8 o'clock. Back tomorrow at 8 o'clock. Say hi right. to your family, Javi. I will. Take care, guys.